Hi friends, this is Asis Kumar from Mindfest Solutions India. So in this tutorial, we will go through uh, making a Android application using the PhoneGap framework. So before creating a application using PhoneGap, we need a Android SDK and the Eclipse to be installed in this session. So uh, I hope you have already watched the video of mine of creating a Android SDK and installing a uh, Eclipse on the uh, on this machine before uh, using that machine for uh, developing the uh, Android application. So next we need to uh, have the uh, uh, PhoneGap platform to be downloaded from the PhoneGap site. So just go for the PhoneGap.com and slash install. Now you can see there are different versions of PhoneGap available. So let's go with the latest version that is PhoneGap 2.9. So you need to just click it and it will be downloaded as a zip file to the your download folder so as I have already downloaded it so this one is the zip file so you need to extract it so you will get a PhoneGap 2.9.0 folder and inside that you will find a library folder that contains all the um, all the uh, platforms for the PhoneGap technology that they support let's say over here we are considering about the Android so go for the Android and for the bin folder just copy the address so next our aim is to create a android application so go for the command prompt and navigate to the let's say i have uh, keep this folder in the desktop so now go for the click on the okay, desktop so here i navigate to the bin folder now inside the bin we need to use the create command to create a android applications folder structure so let's go then create so the create command access some parameters so the first parameter will be the path of the folder where you need to create the project so let's say i need to create a project on the desktop itself so just copy the address okay so let's go here and just paste it so in the desktop project I need to create a demo application ok so next is the package name of the application so let's say I have given com.mindfire.demo app ok so next will be the name of the application so let's say demo app Okay, just hit the enter button and it will create the required Android folder structure on the desktop. You can see it's creating the applications. Okay, okay, you can see it has created the application over here. If you open this, you will find the required structure is wholly similar to the structure when you create an Android application using the native code. So our next aim is to import this folder structure to the Eclipse so open the Eclipse I have used the desktop PG workspace as a workspace, workspace for the Android application so inside here you just need to create the uh, or import the created folder structure to the Eclipse so go for the file then new inside the new go for the project so in the project as you have already installed the Android SDK you will find the android folder in inside that android project from existing code so go for the next now here you need to browse for the folder where you have just created the uh, folder using the phone gap create command so hope this one is the folder now ok now go for the finish button now our next step is to run this application in the android simulator so you need to just right click it go for the runners and you can go for the run configuration so over here if you can see we have android application inside that one new configuration has been created and you can choose the application that is a demo app now on the target you need to choose one android simulator where you want to run the application let's say I have choose this is the simulator next in the common if you want the application to debug and run and 
log all the errors while running the application in the simulator so please make sure that these two checkbox are ticked okay now let's run the application and see it's trying to run the application on the simulator so you can see this has started the simulator uh, it will take some time to start the simulator so we need to just wait for a bit so it's creating it's running the application okay so here you need to open the lock okay see it's running the our application okay so now this is the index page of our application that is uh, present in the www in the asset folder so now let's modify our code in the html file let's see how it looks you can see this is the index file so that the ui we have seen that appears to do this code so let's have modified this one let's make it this is a simple demo okay now let's see how it looks go for the and run it again see it will appear just over here see it has minimized the previous application now launching the new changes so you can see this is simple demo demo that we have written in the HTML file so this is the simple way to run the to create a phone gap application for the Android platform that's it thank you guys